Hello, good morning and welcome to a new video and we're here at the Stafford Classic Bike Show 2023. It's October and we're here early in the morning. And uh, we've come straight into the halls to hopefully show you some of the bikes before it gets too crowded. And uh, coming on the Sunday today, some of the bikes it's have got the rosettes. Oh, second. And uh, that Z900 has got a rosette. And doesn't it look lovely? It's a 1972 Z1. That's one second in the 1980s bikes. 1980s bikes. And there's quite a lot of 1980s bikes there. That, yeah. That's one of the reasons we're here. We're here to look at bikes that you can remember riding yourself. And I had the 250. That's a lovely looking 350, isn't it? So that's one first prize in the 1960s bikes. First prize in the 60s. Uh, There's a Kawasaki 250. Yeah. Forgive me, we, we, we can't focus on every single machine here, but I'll try and give you an overview. And if, uh, if you spot a machine that you actually owned at the time, let us know in the comments below. Look at the polishing on that. Beautiful Zuki kettle. Can you see what rosettes that's got on? Can't read it. No, it's a shame the rosettes aren't uh, yeah, at the front here. Well, the ones they've got, some of them have got like a thing telling you what the wood at the front, but that one yeah. hasn't. So. Yeah, a lovely Kawasaki 500 Mac 3. Another RDLC here, 250. I had the 250, but that's that's not close to standard. It's got polished engine and uh, head and expansion chambers. Complete restoration. It's nice though. It's nice. It's not it just standard. Don't look like it's ridden, does it? No. I mean, that, that's something that looks more look standard in yeah. need of maybe restoration or you leave bike, it like that. It? It's a lot longer bike. It's a longer bike, yeah, yeah. it is, yeah. G500 two stroke and if you're a, perhaps a, a little older than me you'll have owned one of those originally Yamaha RD400 <laughs> two stroke even older from 72 RD350 isn't isn't an RD G350. Yeah. 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 Nice. This one's got third place in the 1970s bikes. Third place. What the Ducati? Ducati. Yeah. Single. Gives a rundown, Carol. What is it? It is a 250 Desmo single, 1974. Mm -hmm. Last of the Desmo singles. Lovely. Nice little Z. 200 Kawasaki, you don't see many of those at the shows, they're kind of no, overlooked. Unusual, yeah. Is. MBX 80 Honda. It just says highly commended, these ones with the yellow roses. Highly, highly commended. commended, okay. So they've not actually won a prize. But and then you've got the uh, CBA CX 500. Lovely. What's the little thing on the tail? I don't know. <laughs> and we've got a Honda. Oh, best in show, this one. Honda best in 754. Show. Best in show. Entrant Ray and Wendy Robinson. It's a 1972 Honda CB750 K1. Very nice. 
Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And uh, it's nice to see the winners this year, Carol. Yeah, because we normally call it a Saturday, so we don't know who's won what, do we, normally? Yeah. The GT750. Not focus on the same bike a lot, but... Uh, this one's got the best rotary. Best rotary. It's it's quite, that's quite, quite a small class, I can imagine. Yeah. It's quite a small class, yeah. but uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It's RE5. I like the uh, the clocks and everything in the uh, in the circular. Yeah. Should yeah. We go around clockwise. Okay. Someone's got an annoying dog in here, I think. Somebody has got an annoying dog in here. Oh, that's unusual. Sun. That's nice. Yeah. Sun Challenger. It's a nice little bike, isn't Again, it? I'm not, I'm not aware of Sun, but there's quite a few names I'm not particularly familiar with. It's a DMW. It's a little twin, isn't it? The MW 250. 1965. Yep. Excelsior. That, the, uh, the painted up uh, Yeah, we've seen that every year. That's here every year, yeah. yeah. So that one say, best Japanese modified street bike, that one. The F1000R. Verde. It's got a highly commended. Yeah, highly commended rosette. And that lovely as well. Honda 350. See if we can tell you a little bit about it. Model CB 350 K4. From 1973. RD 350. 1985, that one. 85, yeah. I'm not sure I personally like the look of them as much as the earlier RD yeah. LC, but just personal, and I obviously own the earlier one, so. But uh, quick bike, my first bike, Carol. Yeah. FS1E. It's about that colour, wasn't it? But slightly more no, orange. No, no, it's more that. orangey, yeah. mine was. So let me know in the comments below what was your first bike? I had one of the, I had one of those, and then I went on to a, a 250LC, like lots of lads did in the uh, early 80s. Everybody, of course, wanted the. Oh, 350. this is this is an RD250 converted to a 350. Ah, yeah. wow, that's what a lot of them did. Yeah, is that the Kenny Roberts colours? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Honda 175. A beautiful, beautiful Liberta. Now, oh, we know whose that is. Now, of course, we know we know whose bike this belongs to. Yeah, in fact, all of these in belongs fact. to Alan Milliard. Yes. Well, that that's Alan Milliard's bike. That's the one he did the uh, the two up. Speed record. Speed on. record, yeah. Suzuki. The, yeah, that's the one that he and Alan Milliard, well, Alan Milliard did the bulk of the work on it, didn't he? In the uh, in the motorbike show. Yeah. And if you've watched it, the motorbike show with Henry Cole, that is their latest uh, bike that they've rebuilt. And uh, not to everybody's taste, is that the Uncle Book? Whatever. <laughs> Chopper? Chopper. Yeah. Hopefully we'll catch up with Mr. Milliard at some point, maybe get a word with him, I don't know. Everybody wants to speak to him, don't they? Yeah. It's the trouble at these shows. And if, uh, if you are interested, we've done quite a bit of uh, filming with Alan Milliard and filming his bikes, and uh, I'll put a link up on the screen 
to where we chatted to him at, at the Prescott Bike Festival where he was riding his bikes up the Prescott Hill. Turbo. KZ 1000. Look at the bike work down there. Oh, what, uh, what's he won? Oh, first in the 1970s bike class. Wow. Let's have a... Let's see if we can get a, a side view of it. It's tucked away where I can't really see it that well. I got told off for leaning over too much last time by <laughs> one of the people here, so uh, I'm just being a little bit cautious about not leaning over the bikes. First, it's kind of a shame it's hiding the bike. Yeah. And the six five hundred, nice and little. Oh, I got that. Has got the best off-road bike award. Best off-road bike. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Can you tell? Uh, it's a Kawasaki KE one seven five. KE one seven five, yeah. Lovely, lovely order. Another uh, kettle. What's that third in best bike of the? Uh, uh, yeah, nineteen eighties bike. CB seven hundred. Sorry, CB seven fifty F. Look how clean that engine looks. Beautiful. If you are wondering, uh, the October show here does focus more on some of the the newer classics from yeah, the, the uh, sem seventies and eighties, yeah. and uh, in this program we'll be focusing more on those bikes. But uh, we'll still try to include some of the some of the older machines as well as we wander around. TDR250. The FS1Es. That's probably closer to the colour I had, Carol. Although it was lighter than that, I'm yeah, sure it was. I think it's more like. Uh, it's probably not, more like that one over there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think yeah. that's probably it. It's difficult to remember. I'll have to dig out a picture of me on it. There is a picture somewhere. It's a very blurry picture with you on it. A yes. very blurry I love the picture purple one. That's good. Me as a 16-year-old. So many people must have started their biking life in the 70s on one of these. It was the, uh, the first taste of freedom for lots and lots of young lads like me way back then. I want a winner. That's it. What does it say? Just as highly commended. Highly commended. Yeah, very, very nice. It's be very hard to judge, wasn't it? Oh, really hard to judge, yeah. The Yamaha. It's a way of life. The Verde. It's nice to see him in a colour other yeah, than orange, isn't than orange, it? Yeah. yeah. In fact, there's only two orange bikes on this yeah, stand, unusually. Yeah. yeah. Lovely oh, stuff. some beautiful kettles here. Right, this oh. is the Yamaha stand. And look what's the here. The LC Club. RD700, look. What does it's, it say there? Is that, uh, that's got to be modified, obviously. It's got to be. They never made an RD700. There's an RD385. 
or the 350LC in black with That's expansions. The colour. 350 LC, more standard, standard exhaust. So standard exhausts are more and more difficult to to find. Well, it caused a lot of controversy on the uh, <laughs> on the last video, and uh, I'll always admire the engineering that's gone into building it. I mean, I'm not into the colour scheme, but uh, you know, it's obviously built to. Uh, to cause a conversation, yeah. let's say that. That's taken. Ah, that's a uh, different shape. That's really nice. That's, that's, that's lovely, isn't still it? Still an LC. Nice colours, yeah. Three, 250 actually. Yeah. 250, but Very really nice nicely colours. painted. There's the RD500 YPVS. Yes. Iconic Kenny Roberts colours, white PVS, RD. Seven Seas Motors. Naughty Dax. <laughs> <laughs> like these. Oh, the. Uh, it's like a toolbox. Pumps, yeah. yeah. They That's are they are lovely. really nice, aren't they? Really nice. Have, would we be allowed one of those in the living room? In the living room? You don't want it in the living room. We don't have a tool Where box. do you want it? Do you want it in your man cave then? Yeah, you don't want it in your living room. I suppose room, for do your you? ultimate man cave, yeah. Or with a fridge. You've got fridge, tool Beer fridge kits. and toolbox. Are these actual airlines then? Can you use these as airlines? I don't know. Well, they look, they've got airline ends yeah. on them. Yeah. Yeah. The National Motorcycle Museum stand. Yeah, but the National Motorcycle Museum is British bikes. British bikes. Yeah. Well, Why these... is that here? The National Motorcycle Museum is That's well definitely worth a visit. Well worth a visit in its own right. In fact, is it in a few weeks they've got the uh, yeah. free open day? Yeah, Museum Live. And it's yeah. uh, it's a good day. Metal malarkey. Custom look classic at the motorcycle back. engineers. That's really unusual. Look at that. Yeah. Norton Commander. Wow, look at the work he's gone that into that. That is a work of art, that is. I don't think he'd want to ride it, but... I don't know. It really is very, very nice. It's a Benelli digger. What do you think of the V4 Cafe Racer, folks? BSH Customs. What on earth is that? Look at that. Where'd you steer it? Where you steer it? There's handlebars there, it turns. It's got no clocks on or anything or display at all. You don't need clocks. <laughs> oh, wow, now that looks uncomfortable. That? It's got a wooden seat. <laughs> That's got a wooden seat, you're right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's a Musa. Now, look at that paint job on there. All right, what we've got is the air cooled RD club. It looks like 50 years of RDs are celebrating. Oh. I love them all. I could have any of these in my garage. Absolutely any of them. Is there any that you would pick? You'd go on colour, wouldn't you, Carol? Oh, I'd go on colour, probably, yeah. yes. I mean, someone's really customised that RD. It's a bit RD. blingy, that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a I bit, bit over-blinged. No, I prefer to go for a natural... If I was a bit older, factory. that's probably what I would have had as a 17-year-old. Mm. Yeah, Again, true, you had the yeah. 250 but wanted the 400, but you could have the 250 on L's. Right. Ooh. Very nice. Modified, I think. It's got club stand, second prize. 
if it's a 600 he's got an extra cylinder there 125 I mean, after they, after they stopped everybody having uh, a 250 on owls, you could only have a 125, which I think was limited to... Is it 12 brake horsepower? Somebody tell me anyway. Uh, but you wouldn't restrict them and uh, put, a, put an exhaust on them and you got them going as fast as you could get them. Another winner there, look, ID400. from 1980. In fact, they're all 400s. Nice with the matching helmet on that Yamaha, the yellow one there, look. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's very nice smart. Nice RI helmet with yeah. it. Yeah. Z900. 1100 there, some sparkly paint. Z1R for sale, 9750 if you're looking to buy one, KZ1300. Oh, someone's done some a bit of serious mo modification on that done one, some I think. Serious modifying there, yes. Same age as me. He's the same age as you, isn't he? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we always see Rod at these shows. He's a great, great collector of uh, the classic bikes. Does a lot for the classic bike world. Lovely. Zuki GSs. Again, everybody associates a GS, GS with, a, with BMW. Yeah, yeah. So why is Suzuki called a GS then? Well, they had it first, I think. So what I'm does GS wrong. actually stand for? I don't know. Somebody will know. Somebody tell me. And does it stand for the same thing on a Suzuki as it does on a I, BMW? I, I don't know. Here is the uh, another bike for a 16-year-old back back in the 70s. Slightly less popular, I think, than the uh, FS1Es, but uh, probably as quick. Of course, you've got the old uh, Katanas as well. The new ones really don't seem to have took off, do they? No, they don't. You don't see many on the road, do They're just do you? not as beautiful. And those Kawasaki's that they've made just look they do. so nice and styled. They do. But the Katana, I never thought was particularly... Yeah. Beautiful bike originally, was it? So, hey, look, CBX Thousand Enthusiast Club. Ah. Who doesn't love the six cylinder engine? I mean, they sound absolutely amazing when they're on a uh, when they're on a good pipe. obviously a special I like the I, I, I personally like the uh, I think the silver grey is naked, lovely the, the, yeah. like the naked version is the, is the iconic CBX for me Yeah. I wasn't into the fared version as much no. that engine <laughs> it's quite a nice chat with one of the owners on a a previous classic last uh, year here video. wasn't it yeah and uh, yeah can't see him here today though. no I don't see him here yeah. what do you think to the special folks well, it's quite nice it's, it's quite, quite nice, nice but I don't I'm not sure I like Again, the fair yeah, I think much. I prefer the unfair version is yeah, nice it's unfair for me yeah but, keep uh, it simple yeah let us know what you think in the comments mm. I think I think the thing about only one of these that did scare me is looking after a bank of six carburettors. Yeah. Gotta know what you're doing, haven't you? And knowing what you're doing, yeah. 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 I've got a recommended. That's very nice. Oh, is that, is that that's yours, is it? Yeah. Wonderful. 
That's good news, then, isn't it? I'm so happy. It looks lovely. It looks well lovely, yeah. Yeah. That is just all. Yeah, that's all there is with the car. Just see, so see how got... close I can zoom in on that. <laughs> wow. That's scary, isn't that's it? Scare, that, that would yeah. scare the hell out of me. They're like your mounting rails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> O-ring. Oh, my God. I'm normal person and not... See, all you're, doing, you're, all you're doing is scaring me away from carburetted <laughs> bikes. <laughs> this is the Ducati owners. What's that one say, Carol? Uh, just highly commended. Nice machine. Beautiful. I don't know a great deal about Ducatis, I'm afraid. That's nice. It's like the original Scrambler, isn't it's it? Nice colour as well, isn't it? Unusual, that. I love that engine. Yeah. Oh, we've seen this one before, haven't we? We have seen that one before, sure, yeah. Seen that one before. I love the shape of the tank the on that. The tank is a yeah, really unusual beautiful. shape, isn't it? The little loops on the top, is it for his map? Yeah. Oh, tight. It, look, it looks almost child size. It does, it, yeah, they look really small, don't they? Yeah. Small Italians, clearly. Small Italians, yeah. yeah. Italian Motorcycle Owners Club. Gileri. Gileri. Gilera. Gileri. The Verde 1200 Mirage. Well, that's got the best sub 1000 cc bike award. Best sub 1000 cc bike. Yeah. That's rather nice. Yeah. Lovely. Mm. It doesn't look like it gets ridden on the road though. No. I think most. I mean, of the, the inside of the mug guy doesn't got a single stone chip. No, I think. All the ones that have won awards, I don't think get rid um, of. I'm pretty sure. Say. I'm pretty sure you're right. Well, this one's got the award for the best club stand. So the whole stand's got the whole stand's won. The award for the club stand. Yeah. Oh, it does look good. It does look good. Yeah. We we love Kawasaki triple two strokes, yeah. don't we? Well, this is the Kawasaki triple club. Wow. We're in the right place, aren't we? Yeah. It's got to be your favourite bike, hasn't it, there? Yeah, it's one. Purple H2C750. It's an American the same model. Same one that Harry's garage was riding the other day. Yeah, he was riding. I think his might be even be the American import, which I think the American import have got the the higher bars. Right. Could be wrong. Kawasaki specialist will put me right. But that. That, that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. as is the, the 250. It looks absolutely immaculate. Well, that's got the award for the best Japanese bike. Well, it, rightly so. It, yeah. looks, it looks better that's, than brand new, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks stunning. Now, somebody in the comments was saying, why don't I ever show any classic BMWs? Ah, you found one. And I found one. Yeah. There he is, BMW R60. <laughs> Not in like pristine condition, but it's still still here. Quite like the uh, the leg guards keeps your knees warm. Keep your knees warm. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the weather off your legs. Yeah. Prillia RS125 for sale. Don't think I'd fit on that, do you, Carol? <laughs> Looks a bit tight, doesn't it? Tight. Winter project. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it's got all the bits there. It just needs a bit of buffing up. Needs an oily rag over it, Carol. <laughs> Triumph Daytona. Yeah. Kind of a classic Hinkley mm. Triumph, that is, yeah. isn't it? Thunderbird. That's like the one that we 
we the, saw the at the Triumph, Triumph Factory. Yeah, the Triumph Bike Night. You've got that show. looking beautiful, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So much more empty than uh, when we come round. Yeah. Everybody decided to come yesterday. Everybody think, came yesterday. Gather. So top tip, folks. Yeah, come on a Sunday. Come on a Sunday. Thirty-eight thousand pound up for that. Wow. wow. It's a nice neck. Mm. It's that RX twelve hundred R. That's nice. Ducati MHR 900, 1981. It's a Mike Halewood replica, 1980 model. UK registered, first registered, March 1981. 19, 19,000 quid the one. Comes with lots of paperwork, brochures, MOTs, receipts, two keys. Okay. And the owner's manual, yours for eighteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Zuki RG five hundred. Another fast two-stroke in its day, Carol. Trouble is, you paid that sort of money for it. Do you want to ride it on the road? Hello. And that's the. That's the thing, isn't it? TZR250. That's 11,300 for that. It's a lovely neck, but... Auntie's bike, third place. GTS 1000. They're the third ones that have the, the weird... Front. Bike. They're the ones with the weird front end. Mm. See that single shop down there, look, hasn't, hasn't got a pair of forks on it. All right. Can't really see it from this side, but it's like an original fire blade, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> well, that's not classic, is it? That's the old, uh, is that a, a Garner? Ah, uh, could be. Era. 2018, oh, 2019 bike, yeah. Handmade at Norton Donington Hall, yeah. Yeah. Bike was number 10 off the production line. Only circa 55 exists, yeah, there's a reason for that. Yeah, there is uh, a reason for that. Yeah. They're the bikes that uh, modern Norton found a whole list of issues with the yeah. engine and God knows what. Lots Not of people we know say don't ride it if you've got one. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to ride it on the road. Yeah. The Yoshimura GSX R 1216 Turbo. Good old phaser. XJR owners club. A trailer look. <laughs> yes, yeah. Highly commended. Do you tip runs? It's kind of got an extra wheel at the back of the trailer look. Well, it's not an extra wheel. That is the wheel for the trailer, isn't it? That's the wheel right for the at the trailer, very yeah. back. That's unusual. Yeah, that spins fast, being such a little wheel. Yeah, but it does. V Max. You want to go faster than a cruiser bike? That was a bike to have, Carol. That was a mighty engine. It reminds it is me a, a bit of engine. that uh, MTO one that you were looking at with that. Yeah, the, box the that MTO comes out one has just got a huge yeah. V-twin engine making, I don't know, probably about 100 horsepower. Yeah. That was making big horsepower. Just buy one V Max. And there's another one right there. Look. Oh yeah. Nice. I've always admired the uh, 1200 there. Mm. It's in the iconic colours as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. There's a Benelli 6 under, say. 
And it's a winner as well. Ah, best continental machine. Definitely smaller than the CBX. Yeah. Lovely looking bike though. Mm. You seen these, Carol? What? These, instead of having the radiator at the front, the radiator's there, look. You see the fans? How's it getting the, the air flow through it, though? It's fans. Yeah, the hot air comes out the back. Very unusual. Mm. I think when you go forward, it'd be easier just to force it through the front, really. Well, you would. There you go. It's the Italians doing something different. We'll be looking Vincent as well. Right, shall we have a look what's upstairs? Yes. Okay. Best machine of technical this interest. The 1957 Triumph Boss 350. Two stroke. Quite unusual expansion chambers on it. Look. Yeah. Split single double piston two stroke. Really unusual. Quite a nice 1951 Tiger next to it as well. Let's have a look at the, uh, the big Tenere over here. Tall, isn't it? Nineteen eighty nine CB two fifty RS there. Slow burn restoration project. Nineteen ninety one Yamaha SRX four hundred. Street Fighter section. It's a bit bling. All seem to have the special frames, don't they? Whether they be Spondon frames or mm. Harris frames. Got a turbo on that one. Turbo Harris. There's a turbo down there. Hey, BMW fans. There's another classic BMW. 1972, it's an R60 stroke 5, 600cc, with about 40 it's horsepower. Sorry? It's unusual, see below us. R100. The R80 and 79. A nice cruiser from Guzzi. On the CB1000 behind it. Really old stuff there, 1912, yeah. No. Don't complain, I'm not showing you something old in this video. Spooky Halloween theme. DT. Mm. I kind of wish they'd left the cobwebs off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not really adding anything to it, is it? I told you dieting's no good for you. <laughs> Spy a Suzuki Hex 7 here. You know, we were looking downstairs at the RD 250s, mm -hmm. the air cooled ones. Well, this was the uh, the kind of the equivalent from Suzuki. Mm -hmm. The whole host of them here, look. Yeah. Lots of my friends had the Suzuki X7 or they had the slightly smaller Suzuki X5, both twin cylinder, two strokes. 
Lovely condition. Well, it's filling up now. Yeah, it's not rammed though, it's pleasant. No, it's, it's more pleasant yeah. than I've seen it. We've always come on on Saturday before yeah. and uh, I think the Sunday's proving... A bit more manageable to get round. Yeah. Okay. CX650 Turbo. That's how they did it. Hey, we're at the Greedy Pigs Motorcycle Club. A really unusual looking thing that is, isn't it, that aerial? Bridgeport Classic Bike Club. AR Owners Club. It's won first prize in the 1980s bike. It's impressive. Oh, it does look beautifully restored, doesn't it? Mm. AE50. Look how spindly the forks look on it. Yeah. Well, they buckle up under my weight. <laughs> We've got another uh, winner over the back there, that uh, yeah. AR50 on the right. It's a Super Dream CB250M. They really wouldn't keep pace with the uh, two stroke bikes of the time. But... It's a trike look. Yeah, the Max trike. Yeah. Well, we ain't short of power on that trike, is it? <laughs> is it? What sort of power that makes? Um... 145 brake horse. The larger he is, the bad bike actually broke his back. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. so he's got all the there and his bells. That's his wheelchair on the back there, yeah. so well, it takes everything with him. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I said, you're going to put your wheelchair like that. I said, you're a caster on Yelm, so when you take a clip, you turn it like that. Really Riders Club. Yeah. Bonneville Soap Flux. Has it actually been to the Bonneville Soap Flux? I don't know. It's like the sort of thing that might have been. We know somebody's been to the Bonnie Ball Salt Flats. <laughs> he had a slight accident. <laughs> oh, Jerry, hope you get him. Hope you're getting better. So that was a second prize of the 1990s bikes. Bandit 1200. Bandit 1200 on the Bandit yeah. Man UK channel. Yeah. And it's a winner. It's second. Oh, sorry, it's a second. We'll take second though, won't we? Well, there's a lot of competition here, yeah. Yeah. Second. Very much like the bandit I owned. Yeah. I had the slightly later version. Very nice. Lovely Honda 754. Honda CB125 K3. Jawa. Jawa and CZ. Owners Club. That's an unusual suspension setup. I suppose it's because, because it's got the, uh, the sidecar on the side. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got me some sort of crazy to be the passenger on those. That, things, that's that one there, look. Is it? Yeah. Ah, right, yeah. It is, yeah, you're right. Cossack Owners Club. Mm -hmm. I think the Cossack is a little bit like the Ural, isn't it? It's the uh, Eastern European yeah. version of the Boxer engine. Yeah, it's, it's the same look there, look, Carol. Yeah. Here's the owners club. <laughs> Sorry about the music, folks. V7 Ambassador. 
Ja, dat is heel roepelijk misschien, dat is wel. Work of art, that one. V7 Special Le Mans. Okay, okay, you who, um, incidentally, we've just learned this weekend as well that um, Mr. Milliard and Mr. Cole are going to attempt to break their own pillion speed record on the V10 Viper. Uh, some, sometime this year, hopefully staying no, no. alive while they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, we will. Alan, what do you reckon? April? Something like that, when it gets a bit warmer? A 200 miles an hour yeah. plus is the aim, no, I believe. No. Look, I'll tell you what, it is the most incredible experience on that motorcycle. Um, Alan has tried to convince me to be the person on the pillion uh, for the last two years. And I basically told him, are there any children? There are. I told him to go away. Yeah? I was going to say something else. Yeah? Uh, constantly, but then eventually he conned me into it. Actually, I did ask. You actually asked me in the end. I did, yeah, I did. So look, so we've got that world land speed two up on that at 183.54, yeah? Which actually it worked out because it took us a while to get it that day, right? That actually I'd sat on the back, right, like this, looked at the concrete or looked at the, the, the tarmac for, was that an average speed of 160 miles an hour for like 30, 30 miles? miles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, we eventually got it, but look, uh, we re-geared it differently, so, or we're going to re-gear it differently, aren't we? So at the moment it's 225 at 5,500, and we gear it for 200 at 5,500, you should do 200. Yeah, yeah great, because we did, we geared it, it slightly wrongly, so it took us a long time to get up to cruising altitude. Really. Well, it basically, you got half a mile, right? You got half a mile. 178 and half a mile. Yeah, you had to get, yes, you had to get up to that to have a chance of getting a record. I don't really know what happened. I was just sitting on the back. So th this, this ridiculous machine that Alan somehow had the idea of building with this Dodge Viper engine in is, is going to come out, well, we're going to hear it late. Well, we did finish off by firing it up yesterday and we haven't been reprimanded, so we might as well go for it again if you're, if you're willing to yeah, come try on. at the end of the day. We should, should we do it now? Uh, we'll do it now. Should we do it now? Oh, all right then. I think all we're right. doing it now. Okay. Yeah. Go on, Al, spark it up. And you, you, he, he looks minute on this machine because it's so enormous. It's a half a ton of bike. Have you got the keys? That's not your hotel room key, is it? Great stuff. I've got to tell you, Alan is the king of startups, right? He knows he's got to do it just for the right amount of time. Sheen's leathers, Carol. Oh, yeah. Barry Sheen's leathers from 75. Oh. Henry Cooper. <laughs> Brush it all over. <laughs> you remember his advert for yeah. uh, Route 33? Bit of a modern age to you there. Future. Future classic of the year. Future classic of the year. <laughs> We've got a class for every bike. <laughs> yeah. The supercharger on there, look. That's really unusual, look. Someone's fitted a YPVS 350 engine into an MT frame. Ah. It's an MT... Is it an MT-03? That's an MT-350. Yeah, yeah. That is quite unusual. Why would you do that? I don't know, because the original, the if it's an MT-09, it's already, or an MT-07, I think it might be an MT-07 original. It says 3... Pardon? Oh, it says MT-350. No, it was an M, it's an MT of some sort, but that is a two-stroke engine. Okay. So very, very unusual. IPF RG. RGV, a lucky strike, a Suzuki. Sing good day. Tell you anything about them though on the nah, book, I wish they'd tell you a bit more about them. Yeah. And I'm no expert, so I can't can't give you the lowdown, but
125. It's a good looking phaser 600 actually. It looks so you don't often see people really look after. Look after. Well. Yeah. That's the workhorses. This is from 98, phaser 600. Mm. It looks immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. Look at that engine. I wish I'd get a bit more light in here. I mean, how many people had phasers? They often have them as first bike, don't they? Mm. Phaser 600. Yeah, we are. It's ideal actually physically bike, quite yeah. a big bike. Yeah. I mean, I rode one in Gran Canaria. Yeah. Bad, bad ones. And it's a race, it's kind of a race engine. The, 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 the really revvy engines. I didn't particularly enjoy riding it, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> R6 YZF An R1 from 1998 See how old do it have to be to be a classic I mean it's over 20 years old isn't it Nice to be outside in the sun Carol It is yes, yeah, it's a beautiful day isn't it actually Beautiful Shall we have a look at some of the bikes It's going to be probably revved up out here CD 500s. It's gorgeous. They're really nice, aren't they? BSA. The thing about all these out here, you know these are all going to be runners because they run them up. Yeah. Look at the Ducati. two-stroke race bikes. TZ750s. You've got, you need a degree of skill to ride one of those. They're, the power band's really narrow on them and you know, when it comes in, it comes in. wearing a woolly hat for ear protection, <laughs> so no worries. 2003 Jigsafau. Hard to believe that's a 20-year-old bike, isn't it? They look really modern, don't they? It looks a modern bike, but... Yeah. 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 Probably after 100 years of development, they've got it back right now. Probably have, yeah. Harris Rotax. Best Grand Prix displays, one look. Best Grand Prix display. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? The tank on that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. BSA Rocket 3. It's a bit different to a Triumph Rocket 3, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bit lacking in padding, Carol. <laughs> uh, competition hall. Greaves. <laughs> what on that? Oh, it's been used, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> he certainly covered that one in mud. I think it's just decals. <laughs> <laughs> Got the tank on there. It's lovely. It's got a... What is it? Uh, uh, hod hodarka? Hodarka? Hodarka. It's got a rosette. Yeah. I've heard of a hodarka. Nope. Yeah, it's got a hodarka on the crankcase. Yeah. I thought it was going to be something that was a mix of a, a Honda. Yeah, Hodarka. New one again on me. Mako. Mako did the fearsome uh, uh, motocrosser, but that's obviously a uh, racer as well. From 1970. RS125. Fifty cc Hummel Creedler, six B long shaft, eighteen bhp at fifty cc. Really? I mean that—that that is a lot of power from a very from small 50. engine. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Benelli. Benelli. I'll tell you, I once had a bull taco for round the fields. Do you have I've told me? Probably that? have told you that, haven't I? Crashed it, broke the gear selector, didn't know how to fix it. There's an old dot, look. Hiding at the back there. O2 SP2. CBR 600 from 91. RC30. RC45. RC45. Yeah. Two stroke section. That looks quite nice, doesn't it, with the upswept exhaust. Mm. What is that? That's a 1990. Now I say, I can't read what the model is though. Can you read the model number? The Z. Z50. Hmm. That's bigger than 50. It's 250. Oh, Z250. No, it's not 250. Not ah, exactly. yeah, it's, it's, two, 250. it's a 250, yeah. 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 Nineteen seventy. Three fifty. Ah. I had a red and white one. I've never seen It's a blue and white. The difference between two fifty and the three fifty is the two fifty had one horn and the three fifty had two. I don't think that was the only difference. No, the 350 had two disc brakes and the 250 had one. All oh, right. Somebody will tell me that there's other differences other than the... The engine. The engine <laughs> itself. Zuki 500, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Good neck. It does. You can tell they're old when you see the drum brakes on them still. But yeah. That's in lovely condition. CBX nice. Custom. That's in good nick as well. Right? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you've always got to be impressed by that engine, haven't you? Yeah. That is going to put out some serious noise. Is it six into one? Yeah. Six into one. It's got they the absolutely howl like, a, like an F1 engine yeah. when they're uh, at full tilt. They sound amazing. And if anybody's watching, you, you need to dig up a sound clip of one of those uh, running at full tilt. I'm not sure I'm into the custom front, but... No, I'm not know. sure what that's about. But, but uh, 
still nice. 68 TC 305. Ledu. <laughs> Don't know. End frame, Muller gearbox, stuffed instruments, damaged and missing bolts everywhere. Sounds like you had a bit of a nightmare rebuilding that. Look how tall the Honda 250R XL is. It's got rosette, so it's done well with it. Mm. Yamaha DT125. I mean, that looks really tall for a 125, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting curve of it. Yeah, nice. Kawasaki KD125. From 74. I like it when they're displayed at an angle like that. You can get you can a see it better, can't you? Get yeah. a better view of it. Yeah. They've done a, a lovely job. Here, though, lovely they? job of restoring that, haven't it's they? Oh, it's a win. Is it a winner? It is. Yes. Yeah. Best enduro trail machine. Yeah. Well. Credit to whoever's done it. Yeah. Well, this uh, quick, next I think. one is the best competition machine. Yeah. Rick Mermitees. That was the best trials machine. She's a triumph. Best trials she machine. Triumph did trials. Well, Triumph have just gone into... They've just uh, gone back into it, haven't they? Well, yeah. not trials so much, motocross. Yeah. Small capacity. Yeah. Go on, tell us a, a, a brief thing about the uh, Laverda. Can't read, it's too small. Too small. It's 500 Mont Juicy. Off you go. Let's hear Graham's lovely Matisse. Yeah. That does sound bad. Henry, all I can say is you can keep your electric bikes. Yeah, no, hey, you don't have to tell me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, electric bikes are lethal, firstly. If you're riding that down the uh, M1, right, people know about it. Yep. Okay? If you're riding some <laughs> electric bike, everyone's just waiting to not see you. Yeah, right. that's a good point. Loud pipes save lives, and I don't care what anyone says, that is true. It is right? true. Because I'm about to start Last call for this performance, last call, any more for any more, show for the whole family, create some childhood memories here today. Some uh, nice two strokes here, well, I think in need of restoration, but a couple of RD 400s and a white PBS 350. UK bike, C70. So the head and barrel of the C70 would fit a, an SS50 to make your SS50 go faster. Okay. 1500 quid for a CX500. <coughs> hey, look at this lot here. Wow. Very nice. Nice CB 1300. Always imagine that's the sort of bike I could own. Yeah. 
looks like your sort of bike. Yeah. Well, we're into brand new Royal Enfields. <laughs> Enfields are certainly selling some bikes in England at the moment. And there's the new water called uh, Himalayan coming out soon. Nitty mm -hmm. Boots, last seen riding one. In oh, is that India. the new one, is it? No, that's the old one, oh, that's right. the air cooled one. Yeah. Keep bumping into you at these sort of events. We do, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bill Williams. <laughs> I'm glad he got his earplugs in, that's all I can say. South Wales Classic Motorcycle Club. Nice Suzuki 100 here. Yeah. It looks a lot like the uh, the 50, doesn't it? It's yeah. just slightly, uh, slightly bigger version. Nice GT550 there as well, like the uh, Ram Air system. Ram Air. Try and get as much air past those cooling fins as possible. <laughs> I mean, look at that front brake. That's got to be probably final development of drum brake before yeah. they moved on to discs. It's a monster. North Wilts Motorcycle Club. It's a real nice stand, isn't it? Look at that. CB 1100 RC. Got some nice two stroke race bikes here. All water cooled. TZ750. I think that's about it for today, isn't it, Carol? I think so. I think we've seen everything, haven't we? I think we've seen it, yeah. It's been a good day. Hope you've enjoyed our little wander around Stafford Classic Bike Show. Thanks very much for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye bye. bye.